Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the solid state drive on a MacBook Air. Um, and the repair is relatively easy, all you have to do is remove the bottom cover. There's one screw that holds the SSD in. Just remove it, replace it, and that's it. And we do sell all the parts, we sell the SSD and all the tools you need uh, to do this job on a website. I'm going to put a link in the description, so do check us out, www.fasttech.ca. Let's get started. Find out what model number your MacBook is. Uh, you can flip it over and at the back here, you're going to see some text. I'm going to try to focus on it. Uh, and uh, he, right here in the first line, it says model A1466. Uh, and that is the model number. So that's how you can tell what model number you have. And uh, every model has a different LCD. Uh, it has these screws on the back that we're going to have to remove to open uh, open the bottom case to take it out. Uh, and it uses these pentalobe screws. Uh, and you're going to need a pentalobe screwdriver like this. And we sell this on our website. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys. So do check us out if you, uh, if you want to buy the screwdriver. The ones over here at the back here, these ones are going to be longer screws, like these ones. Once you've removed all these screws, this aluminum piece, the back, uh, the bottom panel is going to come off. You can just lift it from the back and it comes off like so. Now we have access to the MacBook. All right, so once we have the MacBook open, uh, before we do anything, we're gonna disconnect the battery. Uh, with the battery connector is right here. We're just gonna pull on it like this. Okay, uh, once we've removed the battery connector, now we can uh, start working on this MacBook. To remove the storage, uh, if you wanna upgrade your hard drive or replace it if it's broken, if you're getting the question mark folder, all you do is remove the screw right here And then this SSD is just gonna come out like this. That's your storage device. And then you get your new one, put it in, same way you took it out. Line it up, push it in, put the screw back in, that holds it in, and you're done. I'm gonna reconnect the battery. Now we can start installing our case back on. And after the last screw is installed, we're done. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you want to receive notifications. Uh, and don't forget to like our videos and comment on them. We try to respond to as many comments as humanly possible. Uh, and also, don't forget to check out our website if you need any parts, tools, or repair services if you don't want to do it yourself at www.fasttech.ca. And I'll catch you in the next one.